G'day mates, happy Sunday. There is a lot of buzz right now around this new marsh from Fisher & Paykel, the Solo. And it's really gonna disrupt the marketplace, I can tell you that much. I remember back in 2014 when Philips released the Dreamware with the revolutionary conduit frame, top of the head connection, and it just threw a massive spanner in the works because every now and again, a company comes out with a new mask that has a new innovative feature that throws everything out of balance. And this mask here, I think is gonna do the exact same thing. The Bleep Eclipse is also an amazing mask, but because it's only Superman, <laughs> G'day Stu, behind that company, you know, not a big company like ResMed or Philips or Fisher & Paykel, probably doesn't get as much traction, but check that mask out as well. But I think this one is gonna really throw a spanner in the works for ResMed and, and some of the other companies, and it will take a lot of market share from them, no doubt. And the main reason is this head strap. I've had a lot of comments from people saying, Nico, it's just the P10. And today I wanna to show you why it's not just the P10. And I've taken apart the head strap. And I wanna show you how it works because it must have taken a lot of years to develop. Now first, let me try and explain exactly what's going on. I used an analogy, it's like a soft closing drawer, but that's a terrible analogy. It's more like a seat belt in some respects. So when you pull it like this, if I let go of the tension here, you can see it's sort of elastic, sort of like that. That's pretty normal. But what's ingenious is if I pull it over the mannequin here and I pull it down, you can see as I release the tension here, it wants to just pull back into place. That's normal, that's just elastic. However, if I push here, the actual strap locks into place. It gets tighter. If I just do this and just tweak that part there, that part locks in. So as you're making minor adjustments with this section to the nose, there's no clips, Velcro, buckles. It is just locking into place, getting tighter as you do it. And that's totally new. With the ResMed P10 mask here, sure, yeah, you can see it as I release, you know, it wants to pull into place. But if I want that a little bit tighter in any aspect, I have to try and tighten via this little clip here. And there's no way to sort of make this little part a bit tighter or that little part a little bit tighter. Or if I want it looser, then I've got to do the clip again. I just pull it out a little bit. With this one, if I pull it out, if I just pull that out just a little bit, it locks there. See that? I just pull it out a little bit and it locks. So push it in, it locks, pull it out, it locks. There is ultimate adjustment flexibility with no Velcro or buckles, which is just boom. Like that's crazy, crazy good. And I was thinking about this before and it dawned on me that one of the things about headgear is you constantly have to replace it. Hey, the Velcro goes, the buckle snap, the elastic loses its elasticity. With this headgear here, the only thing I can see happening is maybe the material, the outer material wearing over time. But apart from that, it's like an everlasting gobstopper. No, no, please. Forgive me, but no one must look under there. This is the most secret machine in my entire factory. This is the one that's really going to sizzle old Slugworth. What's it do? Would you like to see? Yeah. But what's it do? Can't you see? It makes everlasting headgear. Did you say everlasting headgear? That's right. For papas with very little pocket money, you can wear it forever. I want an everlasting solo mask. Fantastic invention. Revolutionize the industry. So you're not going to have to spend a lot of money constantly replacing the headgear. And as you guys would know, that does cost a lot of money. All right, let's take a closer look at this brand new headgear because it's pure magic. All right, let's take it apart and I'll try and explain exactly what's going on and how it works. Here we go.
So this cable here actually runs through this piece right to the other side. You see it there? As I'm doing that. And what happens is this actual cable, if I pull this back here, runs right through here. You can see it turns to this thicker material. That's the same cable. It goes from thin, it's got a little locking mechanism here, and then it goes to this thicker cable, and it's locked in up here at this point. Now, the magic is this tiny little locking mechanism here. So what happens is this. When you pull this way, it's quite firm, right? But if it goes back the other way, no resistance. Resistance, no resistance. That there is the magic. That little tiny section here. How cool is that? And then this little part here, you can't see it, but basically as you thread that wire through, it goes through kind of like a little maze here, and then it always comes out at the top section. So I'll see if I can do it here. So thread it in, thread it in through the maze. comes out the top. That part then locks into place. The magic, that slides over the top. And then the same thing again, this time though, with this side, it goes under here, through the maze, and then you'll see this part here actually goes in the top little section of this frame. You can imagine how long it took them to develop this. Like, I know it looks pretty simple and all, but man, it's not. And then it clicks on, and then this part clicks on, and that's it. Crazy stuff, really, really cool, I mean. There you have it. G'day mates, this video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.